In the struggle for power, there can be only one winner. So we tested Delcron against the rest. We tested it on wood, and we tested it on masonry, and finally, we tested it on Mr. Jackson of Epping. This is a campaign that majors on. But we can do better than that. I'm Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen, and when I'm changing rooms, I have to be sure that I'm changing them for the better. The best materials, the best designs. But we can do better than that. Okay. Open on two brawny guys holding rival power drills like the Colt 45s. They slowly start to walk towards each other. But we can do better than that. This is a campaign that I like to call Advanced Delchronics. Open on a beautiful Delcron drill made of toughened glass. Every working part exposed. The camera slowly drifts in and in. Simple, clean and efficient. But we can do better than that. Indeed, we can. You've seen five ideas, all viable, all respectable, all rejected. But now... But now, I'm going to show you the right way to go. A different way, an unexpected way, a way to put the Delcron brand exactly where it belongs, at the top of the heap. The theme is the power of nature, the nature of power. We're going to get away from the workshop and the tool shed and the kitchen table. Let the others do that. We're going to grab them with images that reflect the purity and the magnitude of natural, raw energy. Waterfall. A volcano. Or a herd of elephants. Sorry. Herd of elephants? I suppose it's very cutting edge, is it? I mean, it's all in sort of muted colours with bright bits. It's very modern or postmodern or whatever. I don't know. And anyway, if you look really, really carefully, look just down there. Can you see? There's some little tiny power tools. Fantastic. Okay, I think you're just about done, Phil. <laughs> Thank you. We want to be as unique as you are. What the hell is all that about? Well, personal problems. He's, uh, let's, let's, let's go back to the beginning and, um, and give, let's give this campaign the presentation it deserves. Early night, Phil. Yeah, something like that, I think. You're still taking those Japanese fish things? Yeah. Oh, stop. Go. I tell them to keep their job. Good for you, darling. I'm sure we'll manage on my salary. I'll go skiing next year. No. Oh. Best of all, love, it's grown back. <sighs> Delcron. For men with balls. How did it go? Oh, babe, what the hell happened? Hello, Phil. How did your um, thing go? Appallingly, thank you. Couldn't have gone worse. Oh, I'm sorry. What didn't they like it? Don't. Yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Hello. I'm just off to Abigail's. How are you, Dad? I'm oh, sorry. I don't have to ask every day, do I? Well, on my pitch day, maybe. Maybe that would be nice. You're always pitching for something. It's like what you do. So did it go OK? No, it didn't. And why are you going to Abigail's? I thought you hated her. No, that was yesterday. Oh, come on, Phil. It's no big deal. No, it, it is. You need help here with the house and with Desmond, and you should be working. I am working. I am helping. Actually, she has been. You're yeah, right. Well, I just can't do anything right, can I? If I help Mum, I should be revising. 
Told her to stay right out of your way, and then guess who's told her for not caring? Erica, darling, it's fine. Just go. Go to Abigail's. No, wait, 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 wait a moment. So suddenly, I'm the villain of the piece. I, I, for God's sake, I, I've got cancer. It's not just your fucking cancer, you know. Erica. It's Mum's cancer too. And mine and Todd's and Grandpa's. You're not the one who has to see Mum crying because you're working too bloody much. And she's shit scared you're... Erica, enough now. But I have to see her. Oh, yes, darling, you go to work. Good luck with the pitch, love. She mustn't tell you off, oh, no. So I have to get all her crap. Sweetheart, come on, it's all right. No, please. it isn't all right. I don't care if he's ill. Mum's knackered. I'm knackered. I bet the video's bloody shagged out. I mean, hello, that's what Todd does all day. Erica, finish now. No, he's got to listen. Do you know why I'm going to Abigail's? To write your invitations. What invitations? Uh, it's nothing, it's nothing. Yes, it is! It's her birthday party! Oh, oh darling. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled it. It's all right, sweetheart. I'm so sorry, darling. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. I had no idea. Why didn't you say the thing? What was I gonna say? Please don't die. Tolly, come here. Come here. Oh, boy. And you're not gonna die, are you? No. I don't think I am. I really don't. I need you to check my English course. Okay. You need me to check your English course language. You need me to, <laughs> frankly. That's not funny. Mm. It's a disgusting display. I know you're cross, but... Uh, Leo. I didn't want to talk to him. Um, I'm afraid he's busy. Did you go copying your system? No, he, mm -hmm. he can't. He's been feeling left out. <laughs> well, he wants me to tell you they won the account. And the clients chose your idea. Darling, that's amazing. Oh, hey. Oh, let's yeah, that's celebrate. Not, that's not bad, is it? Yeah, but tell him it's a rock Let's say like it. One right. It wasn't even an idea at all. Calm down. Oh, that was sweetie. Phil, he says you're sacked. I don't care. I don't care. He says he doesn't care. And you can shove your job up your ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's no going back on that, then? Well, I'm sure we'll be fine. I could call him back. 